Two-Spirit is basically a Native American who identifies as LGBT, but is reclaiming the traditional role within their Native communities. Bay Area American Indian Two-Spirits. It's a gay Native organization that has been around 15 years or so. Some Native people saying to me, well, why are you so openly gay? That's not the Native way. And I was like, well, my therapist told me I needed to be out. <laughs> but it was the Native way. We just have forgotten about that. What is a powwow? Wow. <laughs> it's a neat opportunity to have so many of the different tribes to gather, to sing, to dance, to show off your new regalia, show off your new dance moves. There are powwows, which are gatherings nationally throughout the United States and Canada uh, every weekend of the year. The only thing that really separates our powwow from other powwows is the fact that the committee that puts it on are two-spirit people. Besides that, we have a lot of straight people that are dancing too. We have children in the Tiny Tots division, so we have a lot of diversity. There's a pride that a lot of people felt, um, especially when they saw for the first time that gay flag going in at a powwow. When you fall under that two-spirit umbrella or that LGBT umbrella, you don't always feel as welcome in certain spaces. So we want to make sure that we had a powwow that would be open, arms open, come on in, join us. We're putting on a powwow that's for the community. It just happens to be put on by a two-spirit committee. To my knowledge, the Bates powwow is the first and only two-spirited sponsored powwow that exists. Um, there are a lot of two-spirit gatherings all across the United States, and they have a powwow as part of what they do, but it's just a small aspect of the larger gathering. But this is specifically a powwow that is also all-inclusive so that our, our allies and, and our families can come and participate. For many of us, we knew that we were not necessarily safe in a regular powwow. We kept feeling like it wouldn't be amazing to have something where we could invite all of the Two-Spirit or gay Native people we knew throughout the U.S. to come, and we would also invite all of our allies, and we would talk to them about what it meant for us to be in this environment where we could be safe, since I grew up dancing at a young age, it's just something that I just did. We used to travel every weekend to different powwows throughout the country. And um, so, yeah, it was just growing up, that's just what we did. Coming out on the res was not an option for me, being that I was so young, like 16 when I was on the res. You know, as a part of protection, I just played it straight until I was independent at age 19. Um, to then come out to my family. There's a lot of hard years that I went through because uh, rejection from family and um, also my native community, powwow community that I grew up around, they um, turned their backs to me. And so many years went by that I just felt very isolated. So I left the circle as far as that powwow. It was 14 years ago when I came out as being gay, it was not very well received, and so I, I quit dancing. Bates decided that because people are coming from across the U.S. to be part of our powwow, we would have a, a little social event the night before potluck. Here, we're welcoming you to the Bates Free Powwow Social Kickoff Bonanza. We had never been to powwows here in, in California before going into a, a new tribe's community. We don't know how they're gonna be. We don't know what their culture's like. You know, you don't wanna be disrespectful. So you don't know what to expect, and so you're always a little apprehensive about going to a new place. To get people to meet each other, we decided it would be really great fun to have a hand drum competition. And we have big prizes tonight for the hand drum. First place, $100. 
we got here and the gay community was extremely friendly. The uh, native community was, was wonderful and, and the gay native community was great.